Hello everybody, hope you're having a beautiful morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this video. Let's get into this one titled In Hypen and Their Sisters at the Spy Room Room 7. I have I have siblings, like half siblings, and I'm the oldest. So let's see the dynamics between all the siblings. <laughs> <laughs> you show off the bag I bought you. How pretty. I look better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that would be kind of weird for like a brother's point of view. I can't imagine that because like I said, I'm the oldest. So if any of my friends were to be like, I have a crush on somebody and it happened to be one of my siblings, they would be in jail. ASAP. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever fought with my siblings because, like I said, I'm the oldest and they're like half siblings. So I don't really see them that often, but I grew up with my cousins. One of them being pretty much the same age as me, just a few months apart. I think one time we were fighting, <laughs> like jumping on the bed and somehow we got into a fight. It just happened. We always fought, especially when we were younger. And she like kicked me. <laughs> she kicked me in the like on the mouth. And my tooth fell out. I don't know why that just randomly popped up in my head for the first time in years. She kicked me in the mouth and my tooth fell out. <laughs> It's so sassy for what? <laughs> she is a woman of culture then. She listens to EXO, I stand her. Sister has hands. Oh, 
Oh my god. That's usually how actually I don't I remember one time in particular we used that method to get a tooth out when I was a kid, of course. Just tie a string to my teeth to the door handle and just slam the door and pop out. I think another time I bit into an apple and it popped out. And that other time is because my cousin kicked me in the mouth and my tooth fell out. <laughs> the silence is pretty loud. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever, if you have a sibling, have you ever caught your sibling like sneaking out of the house before? <laughs> uh, I've never snitched or I've never caught either because like I said, my my siblings can't sneak out because they're children. They're literally like little kids. So my cousin would tell me when she would sneak out and she'd be like, Shh, don't tell anybody. I would sneak out sometimes, well, I used to, just to go get breakfast at like three in the morning. <laughs> I never got caught, at least not by any of my family members. I got caught by the neighbor across the street. <laughs> I don't think they said anything. We were too lazy to fight, but it's the way that even if they didn't tell us this, I'm sure just by looking at them, you can kind of tell that information already. You can kind of register that, that Sanu would be the type of brother to fight with his sister often and then still be like kind of bitter about it for like a week versus Jungwon would have fights with his sister because it's just natural that siblings fight and argue. But unlike Sanu, he would kind of like make up rather sooner than later. There's the, different in per the difference in personality. <laughs> <laughs> My brother would never agree to it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she hides about me. <laughs> she acts like I don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to buy her love and loyalty the respect <laughs> she drew on your face that's funny I don't think I have any good, decent pictures of my siblings or my cousins, especially my cousins. All the pictures we have of each other on each other's phones are like the most hideous things that can never see the light of day. And we just use it to like blackmail each other. <laughs> as a joke, obviously, like if you don't do as I say, I'm gonna release this ugly picture of you. I'm gonna send it to everybody in the family. That's what we would do, and I have albums full of ugly pictures of them. <laughs> but it's always so interesting hearing the stories about um, people who have siblings versus people who don't have any siblings. Because although I have siblings, I definitely feel like an only child. Especially since I'm like the oldest out of everybody, my cousins and my siblings as well. So the older sibling definitely steps into that parent role wonder if you hear these stories a lot of the times they're like not not like genuine sweet stories they're really like shady stories <laughs> shady and chaotic stories wonder if hearing that would make you want to have a sibling or be glad that you're a, an only child i'm pretty happy in my situation i'm happy to, i'm happy to be somebody's sister so i'm gonna end this video here thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you did let me know if i missed anything and i'll catch you guys on the next one goodbye